Hi guys, today we are going to study some concepts based on correlation and regression analysis. A correlation and a regression analysis involves the investigating the relationship between two or more quantitative variables of interest. The goal of such an investigation is typically to estimate, predict the value of one variable based on the observed value of the other variable. Quantitative variables There are two types of variables. One is dependent variable and another is independent variable. Firstly, dependent variable. The variable it is being predicted called the response variable and independent variable. The variable used to explain or predict why and it is called the explanatory or the predictor variable. Correlation addresses the questions is there a relationship between x and y? If so, how strong is it? Regression addresses the question what is the relationship between x and y? Simple linear relationship a linear straight line relationship between y and a single x. The form of the equation is y is equals to beta naught plus beta 1 into x where beta naught is the y intercept and beta 1 is the slope. The scatter plot of x versus y is useful for spotting the linear relationship and obvious departures from linear always starts with the scatter plot. A correlation exists between two variables when they are related in some way. The linear correlation coefficient, it is denoted by rho, measures the strength of the relation, linear relationship between x and y. Properties of linear correlation coefficient. Firstly, minus 1 is less than or equal to rho less than or equal to 1. If rho is equal to 1 for a, pred for a perfect positive linear relationship, if rho is equal to minus 1 for a perfect negative linear relationship, if rho is equal to 0 if there is no linear relationship. Coefficient of determination The coefficient of determination is the proportion of variability in y that can be explained by its linear relationship to x. It is computed by squaring the sample correlation squared that is r square is equal to s square xy divided by s double x into s double y is equal to 1 minus ssc divided by tss. Simple linear regression A least square regression line is our best line for explaining the relationship between y and x. It minimizes the squared error distance between the observed values and the values predicted by the line. That is f of b0, b1 is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n into yi minus b0 plus b1 xi whole square. The predicted value of y from any x can be found by plugging x into the least squares regression line. Proper use of correlation and the regression. The correlation does not imply causation and simply the simple linear regression is appropriate only if the data clusters about a line. It do not extrapolate, it do not apply model to other populations and for multiple regression the size of the parameters does not indicate importance. Effects of extreme values. Extreme values can have a very large effect on the correlation and the regression analysis. Influentially, outliers can largely impact model fit. Residual analysis can be useful for checking the model assumption which for the 
linear regression model are that are independent observations residual have n of 0 comma sigma square distribution plot can be useful for spotting the model in frequency variable selection in multiple regression compare all the possible regression backward elimination forward selection stepwise elimination these are the variable selection in the multiple regression thank you